In today's video, uh, I'm going to tell you about my approach to paintings. And um, in this one, I'm going to be copying the work of Amazing Milk. Um, this is this guy from Moscow who, who does um, great makeups on a chart. I think he's actually doing it on, uh, on a computer. I hardly do ever copying, uh, but this time this is collaboration with Magical Unicorn Group and we decided to go for milk. And here um, most of the image I'm copying, so I thought I'll speak over um, just to give you an idea how am I approaching painting. So if I'm copying whatever, I'm um, like um, like animal or any picture like a real life picture this will be kind of my approach so it wouldn't be a particular makeup or particular painting of somebody um, okay so I start from uh, finding the lightest and darkest points as you see in this makeup you can see that some of the uh, some of the parts they're very, very light and others are darker. So what I'm doing um, on my face, I'm first I sponged over in the lightest places and then I'm kind of starting adding darker ones and then adding colors. As you see, I don't do lines first because I'll need to add shadows over the lines and that wouldn't work in this picture. The same I'm doing whenever I do animals or any other pictures. If I'm looking for references, I will start from bigger spaces, finding the shapes, finding the lightest and darkest points and then applying it. And then only I will start painting in some other elements like just now I'm doing with eyes. Then I will add more details to these eyes and having them all properly placed, I can start with smaller details, add in bigger lines first and then add in small lines. Only after that I can start doing a small shadows, like shadows which need to be placed in particular area, like around very tiny small line or shadowing a part of a particular object. And then at the end I'll add a small very tiny details like highlights or dots. In this image I also added neck um, with a very similar style to uh, Milk's makeup. At the end shot you would also see a horn painted in as this was picture was painted for Magical Unicorn Group and there need to be a uh, horn. I kind of have a few ways of dealing with creating pictures. This is just one uh, way of approaching the painting and I hope it was uh, of interest to you. And now I would like to challenge you guys. Can you think of an object that you really struggle to paint? And what is your way to dealing with your problem if you know? And if you don't know, maybe you, if you just write it in the comments, I might be able to help you and do something in my next video. Okay, now this design is finished. These pictures will be at Instagram, at Ulianka Arti, and on my Facebook, and as you see it here. So this is my makeup complete. I hope you like it. I would appreciate if you share my video with your friends if you think that these tips are useful for you. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!